me calling you all here is my own way of asking you to help me, not only to celebrate him, but to thank him first of all for allowing me to take advantage of you, baby. And I will continue to take advantage of you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for making me a fulfilled woman. Thank you for making me enviable. Thank you for pampering me. Thank you for being the best husband and father.
saying that you haven't already heard how did I get to know this man um, trust it became really um, I was watching it and I saw him begging <laughs> trust it became and um, I reached out and um, I said I introduced myself I said I live in the UK I've just seen you on the UIV and I would like to support and then um, but I sat back and just studied what they were doing and um try to understand the charity um, and see how I could help and nearly five years later here we, we are here gosh um, but what I didn't realize on that day was that God was actually giving me a brother and a sister and a husband as well yeah I've got Malachi Malachi is my husband um, amazing husband I say I just pray for God's blessings. I pray that, um, bro, you know, I have those two over there. As soon as go, bro, cease, because that's where we are, bro, and then cease. And I pray that we'll continue to be bro and cease. Even my husband knows where my phone goes. He say, is that bro? He's the only one that will be talking to me at one thirty in the morning about sick picking and I'm like listen I've got to go to bed otherwise I'm not gonna get paid at the end of the month <laughs> he will be up at one in the morning two in the morning like, oh I just really put something together I think about something I'm like gosh this man but you know what there is not many selfless people that we come across in our lifetime but this man here I must say to you all that we are actually blessed to, to be here, to be counted as one of the people that know this man. And I just pray that um, we leave here tonight inspired, if we are not already, and then we leave here tonight um, with some something, you know? Let's take something from him. And if we do that, the world indeed will be a better place. You know, it's not easy. This man made me beg on the street of Freetown. I beg. I joined them. Every time I come, I join them. You know? And he made that. You know? And um, Brother Charles, I love you. Sister Isata, I love you. And you know, we're all praising him, but we need to praise her. Because I always say to him, you're lucky to have her. Because, listen, I'm a wife. For 20 years, coming up 21 years, um, I can't even say I'll do it. <laughs> you know, I can't say I'll do it. But I ask for the grace. And that grace you have already. And I tap into it. And Brother Charles, make thank you, everyone. May God bless us all. Thank you. I am actually not feeling well today. But there was absolutely no way I would not make this event today. Even if I had to come with a drip and an intravenous drip hanging on my hands, I would have been here today. Because we are here to honor a very special human being in the person of Ishmael and friend Charles. When Madam Charles asked me 
if I would make a statement today. I started thinking to myself, when was the first time I met Ishmael? Ladies and gentlemen, I have thought and thought and thought, and honestly, I cannot even when was the first time I met Ishmael. Because the truth is, Ishmael was like a part of Sierra Leone's life. It's always there. And I cannot put my finger on when exactly I met Ishmael. I have thought about it the whole day today, and I deliberately said, I'm not even going to ask Ishmael to remind me when did we meet. And this, ladies and gentlemen, shows you the character that we are dealing with. The fact that I cannot remember him. I cannot remember who introduced me to him. I just know that Ishmael Alfred Charles is a part of Sierra Leone. The first time I can remember him in public life was reading a report written not by Sierra Leoneans, but written by the United States Congress. And those of you who know what the US Congress is, you know that they do not write reports on individuals unless these are absolutely amazing people. But ladies and gentlemen, the public servant spirit of Ishmael came to bear when I was made Minister of Social Welfare, Gender and Children's Affairs. So when I was made Minister of Social Welfare, I had huge challenges because I was too honest, too straightforward. One plus one for me has to be two. It cannot be five. But one of the people who made me become such a successful minister is this young man sitting here. Ishmael made sure that I did not fail as Minister of Social Welfare, Gender and Children's Affairs. And how did he do it? At every opportunity he had to raise funds or to raise donations for vulnerable people in Sierra Leone, he will do it and say, Madam Minister, I have secured 1,000 bags of rice for so so and so vulnerable people. I have secured so many millions of leons for so so and so vulnerable people. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, despite how sick feeling today, I needed to come here and talk about somebody who is an epitome of public spirited servant leadership. You are a superhero, you are an astonishing gentleman, you are the epitome of public service leadership. And I'm here to tell you and to tell all the guests here today that Sierra Leone is proud of you. Sierra Leone owes you. Sierra Leone and Sierra Leone would be you by the grace of God. God bless you. Thank you. Please don't go. Thank you. For take this opportunity that I wish to be tonight. I can do a lifestyle now. It takes so. This is what many people they say. But you are my back, Oya. Um. So I believe say even from the 15 minute document, if any TC will not see all the people that we speech, they talk about how much Ishmael take family serious. And I come for no harm where a married my sister. And one thing, God, they make we meet people in this life for different reasons. You know, when I demand they will grow up with that country, man's time. Ishmael, I they can show who it's in love, me, me, me. When I hear my sister, when they talk, I, I they get about the surprises. Me then have for me no know it's a surprise. I for you back the surprise. Each man inspire we, especially we can even make fun of the family group of how each man they show me how for express love. We na continue man there. We no use to that name. Who can we to be there? Kalogo. Each man I can show you how for how for do things. Each man I make we no say where you get your for the go vacation all. Vacation, guy. They sit on a plane, they fly. <laughs> so, um, 
on a more serious note, Ishmael, um, we want to wish you happy birthday and may God make you continue for this power. One thing we can always tell me, I get a mantra. Like women, I can get um, privileged conversations. You can tell me, it's killer. Who do not marry to? Everything will they do, the first priority in our family. We work there. Say they are there and I work for now. They say me, I'm not get my for spend for myself, for buy for myself. He said, well, I will pull on for buy for my wife. And then, in the day, if you don't know, we will not get about that. It will inspire you. So, Lloyd, happy birthday. jacket and tie are in what we The only difference is whether I'm good or real.
yeah, she had. 